Hey, what's up, guys? Thought I'd give you a little update on the layout that's going on in my basement. I've actually had this done for a little while now. Up to this point, it's not done. I just haven't given you guys an update yet. My last running video is from a couple years ago, and I've totally changed the layout. I have the track design all done now. As you can see, the key features I was looking for were this section right here, where the inner loop can go to the outer loop, be right here, and the outer loop can go to the inner loop, and vice versa. I have a third track elevated all the way around, and then a fourth one right in here, just a simple oval for holiday trains. Right now, I have the Halloween train on there. Started some of my scenery, as you see right here, I got my cliff face that's just in there to test fit everything. I already have the paint, I just gotta find time to start painting it. I'm gonna do that all the way around. I got the tunnel portal right there. You can see from down in there, kind of. All the way down to here. I'll eventually fill in that gap. This will also eventually be covered. I actually had a smaller piece of wood, but it was warped and I made this to fit the smaller piece. I decided I wanted to get rid of it and get in a nice new piece of plywood that was nice and flat, which this is. Now I gotta compensate for all this wood that's showing. Got three windmills back here. A couple houses. Don't mind all this foam was from carving that right there. That element should be vacuumed up. Uh, more parts of the track plan where it goes into the in between right there. It comes across the other side. And you have a crisscross right there. So the train that's on the inner track can reverse directions. Or I can stop the inner train, pull the outer train into the middle, reverse that one, have it go back out, and it'll be going the opposite direction. So these outer two trains can switch tracks and switch directions. These two are under command. I did get the DCS system from MTH, which is very nice. But in order to do that, I had to sell off my... Oh, hi, Kiki. Hi, girl. She loves it when I'm down here. She always comes down to visit. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, I finally got the MTH DCS system before I was running command only. And I only had Lionel engine engines, but I like the DCS system better. So I went with the MTH DCS system. So I did sell my Conrail and my Lionel big boy. But in return, I used that money to get the MTH GE Evolution, which is a really nice engine. And then the leftover I put down on MTH big boy, and I only have a little bit left to pay on that, and I'll have that. So in the end, I have another diesel, just different style, which I like the Evolution better. And another big boy, which is also a passenger set, which comes with some cars. Right now, I have the diesel on here, pulling mixed freight. As you can see, all around some box cars, trailer cars, car hauler, coal cars. My grandfather's train, which was up in the upstairs one that some of you might have seen, that's down here for now, because apparently all those passenger cars that's pulling, if it goes too slow, it actually it'll get stuck somewhere and it'll just start spinning wheels because it's too much weight for the single motor. So I'm gonna get a dual motor diesel for up there. This is pulling Coca-Cola passenger cars, which I got for a really good deal. They're really nice. And up on the third track, I have a Williams conventional Lehigh Valley. I think they're F units, ABA. I got for a really nice deal too. And that's pulling some Pennsylvania passenger cars that I got as a big deal, actually. Got that. All those cars, an engine that's actually upstairs, the caboose. Uh, where's the, this Pluto car over here, right in there, I don't know if you can see it too well, Pluto car, a few other things, I got a transformer, a bunch of track, I sold the track, actually the transformer is over here, this MRC dual power, I'm actually going to rewire, I have everything running off of this MTH Z4000, but when I get all four trains running, I get some significant voltage drop, so I'm actually going to since I got that in a deal, I'm going to use that to power the two conventional trains and just have the Z4000 power the two outer command trains to take some load off of it. Let's give you a show back here. I have a yard back here. I'll probably end up using it eventually. See that comes down around the pole. That's actually a really nice fit. And this, this third inner rail goes just 
smoothly around the pole on this side. And that's about it for the overview. Um, I'm gonna fire it all up, get it going. Just fix, not fix, flip the switch down here, get everything going. Power up the Z4000 to, I do about 19 volts per channel. So it can compensate for some of the voltage drop. 19. Now my remote, I'll hit engine. I'm sure, we'll do the Berkshire. Hit start up. Berkshire starts up. And just swirl the wheel open, it'll get moving. Then hit engine again. Jivo. Hit start up again. Get the lights going, hear the diesel startup sound. I love the lights on this thing. And same thing, just start scrolling up the wheel. That was a rough start. I don't know why it does that once in a while. It's about like 15 scale miles per hour. You got that one going. As you see, that one went through the tunnel, came around here, switching. Now it's switching directions, and I'll go that way. And I can leave the switch track switched so it constant as a figure eight, or I can leave them straight so it'll just go the same way over and over again, whichever way I want to do it. And now I'll hit the track button, main conventional, start upping the volts on that. And that one starts rolling. As you can see, dropped down to 16 volts. As soon as it drops down to 15. So that's why I'm gonna put in that other transformer. This thing has the weirdest horn I've ever heard. It sounds like an alarm clock. What do you guys think about that? Love this engine. Love it, love it, love it. Coming through there. I don't know why, but the headlight and the backup light on my grandfather's SEMA would have stopped working recently. I gotta find out why. It stopped working before, but it came back on, but this time it doesn't want to come back on. I'll hit track again, go to my seasonal track, start up in the volts on that one. See the little pumpkin car starting to go. And there you go. Four trains running, which is my end goal with this track plan. I control all of this from the DCS remote, which I really like.
still have some trees. Still gotta put some. I have a couple in there. I really like these trees. Got yeah, one there. Uh, I think there's one. Yeah, there's one over there by that bridge. They look really nice. Looks like I was falling over. I got a whole box of them over here for a pretty good deal. It was like twenty something dollars for all these trees. There's a lot in here, different sizes and everything. I have this asphalt look-alike for my street. It's actually roofing material. I'm going to use this for the town, which is basically going to be in this area. If you can kind of picture it, buildings over here. This will be a street, and I'll do like a circle around the flagpole, and going a road to be going to the crossover for the crossing. A couple more buildings over there, some over there, and I'll probably do like a little construction site around this area since it's near the yard. That opening over there, right there, that'll be all filled in with more of the cliff face. I have it cut out, just have to put it in there. And another tunnel portal I have for right there. So, it's better to give you guys an update. I know some of you guys really into the train video that I had before, and it's nothing like that now. I tore it all down and restarted. Let me start all these off so you can hear me a little better. That conventional train, I'll just hit TZV for track zero voltage. Stops that one. Hit track again. Go to the conventional one. Hit TZV again for track zero voltage. Or if we get out in the middle. TZV. Now hit engine. Hit on that one. That's over there. I'll slow it down. Stop it. Then hit shut down. Hit engine again, go to Jivo. I'll bring this one back around. I really like hitting the direction button on this one and watch and listen to it stop. You can hear the brake squeal. So I'll bring it around. Up the diesel engine level because I have the, the speed. Here it comes around. Hit the direction button. Maybe we're squealing brakes. Idles back down, hit the shutdown button, and I'll shut off. Pretty long shutdown, and that's not even the extended shutdown. You can do longer shutdowns for, for these. What's up? I have all my switches wired up down here. My little ghetto cheat cheat sheet for now until i fix it i can't believe some of these lights are out i'm so upset about that but i don't feel like i don't even know if you can get the control boards or not i'm eventually gonna mount these probably up on an angle oh i just undid it probably gonna mount them up on an angle up here so the wires are kind of out of the way that's still to be done down here you can see the tiu lionel cw controls most of the accessories I tried to keep the wiring somewhat nice. From this view, it actually looks really good. I wanted to hide it up under here, so I drilled holes through my supports and wired most of it through the supports. So when you look like that, it doesn't look that bad. But when you look underneath, you can see all the wires running through. Still very much a work in progress. Like I said earlier, I redid everything. I tore the whole layout down. It was on felt and cotton. I tore that up. And now I have, I have three quarter inch foam that I painted brown as a base and I'll get earth covering for everything else. Let's see. I don't have the, as you can see, I don't have the AIU yet, the accessory interface unit for my switches or accessories. I didn't want to do that right away. I just wanted to get into the DCS and see if I liked it, make sure I like it, which I do. And I can always add the AI, AIU in later on and wire up my switches to it. But I have, I don't have that many switches that I need to activate here and there. So it's, it's not that bad just to flick them when I need to. So that's basically it guys. Hope you liked the video and uh, hopefully I'll have some more update videos soon as I start painting, getting more buildings for this area, get the town done. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys.